every master who has ever appeared on this planet and attained liberation points out to this place. And this place is not out of your reach. It's your own self is the very foundation and essence of each and every one of us. Once we become aware of it and we touch it, then you reconnect to it and you remain in that place. And it's not very difficult. It requires us to just be quiet. You have to be quiet because it's not something you can discover it through mental activities. It's not an, maybe in the beginning it's, a, it's an intellectual understanding and we try to grasp it or get an idea of it with our mind. But then, when we learn meditation and we'll sink in with the, the, with the correct direction, guidance is very important. And we're guided correctly to this place. And when we're guided to this place, then Every time you come back to this place, you experience pure silence and you experience yourself. Because there's no thoughts, it's, it's silence. And if you look around, it's very simple. Always you can examine things for yourself because we're intelligent beings and we have the ability of examination it's very simple just look around and pay attention how much are we being taught sorry I need to stop for a moment because there's a plane flying above me How much of our schooling, how much of our education from the time we were born until now has been about being silence? How much have they been teaching us silence? When you go to the church, when our religious studying and education, how much of it goes into silence? our schooling, how much of it was about silence? Most spiritual teachings, how much of it is about silence? How much of it tells you, don't think, be quiet? Very small percentage, very, very little percentage is about that, Everything else is about activating your mind. And this world that you appears to be and you're a part of it is as a result of an activated mind. An active mind has created it. So the more you get involved with thinking, the more you're into the matrix the more you become a part of this world, the more you go into silence, the more you disconnect from it, the more you give yourself a chance to reconnect with yourself, your very essence. And the more you give yourself a chance to recognize your eternal being, 
the truth of who you are. So as I said, the proof is in the pudding. You practice silence for a period of time and see what happens. See if your life changes. See if peace comes, tranquility comes. You just see for yourself whether the quality of your life is changing or not. You don't have to buy what I'm, what I'm sharing with you. You don't have to take my word and accept it. You don't have to, it's not something new. It's not something I've come up with. This is not an original thing. I'm not the first person who's come, come and share this. It's been around for a long time. And it's your preference. You can, you try a lot of different things. We all do. You can try this too. If it doesn't work, move on and do something else. But at least it's free. You don't have to spend money to be silent. You don't have to change your lifestyle to be silent. You don't have to shave your head. You don't have to go to Tibet or India to a monastery. You don't have to become a vegetarian or a vegan or give up your, you like to smoke cigarettes? Keep smoking cigarettes. You can still be silent. You like to have a drink here and there? Have your drink. It has nothing to do with being silent. But try it and see what happens. Learn to be quiet. First, Physically, you learn to be quiet. Then you learn to go beyond your mind and find this place inside yourself, which is silent. And then see for yourself. Examine it for yourself. Is it changing your life? Are you becoming peaceful? Is the quality of your life changing? Does it affect your environment? Is the reaction of people around you changes? There's only one way to find out. It's a cheap solution. But most people on the planet, they either don't know about it or they don't believe it, or it's a very difficult thing for them to do because they're conditioned heavily to think. Their mind is very much activated and the mind is conditioned from childhood into various different belief systems. Whatever that belief system is, whether you come from Christianity, or you come from an Islamic world, or you come from a native land or whatever. Whatever is the story, it doesn't matter. The mind is conditioned. And it wants to pick up stories. But this place I'm talking about is the very source of all stories. All stories come from this place. This is pre-story, pre-civilization, pre-creation. This is the very place that everything comes from it. It's the very source of everything. <laughs> 